Hi guys and welcome to the Smart Investor channel. On this video, we're going to review the best personal loans for fair credit according to our research. We will review the pros and cons of each lender, understand what are the unique features of each loan, and learn how to pick up the right personal loan for your needs. Let's start. Personal loans tend to have interest rates between 5 to 35%. Although with a high credit score, you might be able to go lower. If you have fair credit, you'll still have the opportunity to get a loan. However, the interest you should pay may be higher than average. Every lender is different and every loan they offer is also different. From interest rates to loan terms, from flexibility to other fees, there is a lot to take into account when looking for your loan. Compare your different options smartly and pick up the right loan for your needs. Here are the Smart Investor Selects picks of personal loans for fair credit. If you can't find a suitable lender for you, you can always compare your options on our personal loan comparison tool. One. Upstart Upstart is the first lending platform to use artificial intelligence with an automated lending process. Most lenders primarily focus on a FICO score to approve a loan. However, Upstart uses its advanced technologies to look beyond this and explore the risk of your loan. These calculations are used to assess your ability to repay your loan. The company has a strong belief that if lenders would use its intuitive credit model, they would probably be approving more loans. For borrowers, this means that Upstart can offer high-quality loans. With fair terms for borrowers with excellent credit, Upstart has a strong reputation with excellent reviews on Trustpilot and other sites. 2. Prosper Prosper, the first peer-to-peer -peer lending marketplace, was founded in 2006 in San Francisco and has since made $13 billion in loans. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is a marketplace that connects lenders and borrowers. The Prosper Marketplace provide personal loans for a wide range of purposes to a large number of borrowers. They do charge a high origination fee, whereas other providers do not. Because the process will take longer than on other platforms, Prosper may not be the best place to start your search if you need funds quickly. 3. Best Egg Best Egg offers personal loans for almost any purpose. You can use the proceeds of your loan to pay for home repairs, make a large purchase, refinance your credit card debt, or consolidate existing debt. Over half a million Best Egg customers have borrowed over $9.3 billion. If you have good credit, you can expect a very low interest rate, and loan processing is fast, taking just a few minutes to complete. 4. Upgrade Upgrade has a deep executive bench with the goal of providing an online lending platform at a lower cost and with a better customer experience than traditional banks. It combines its products with free credit monitoring, including alerts, and even providing education about credit on their platform. Upgrade seeks to help borrowers understand their credit potential and secure cheaper credit in the long run using credit monitoring. Upgrade looks for a credit score of at least 620. However, the company may consider other factors to establish your credit worthiness. 5. Lending Club Lending Club is the world's largest peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. Established in 2006 in San Francisco, California, it has lent over $42 billion in personal loans and offers personal loans with a $1,000 minimum. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is a platform that connects lenders and borrowers with the use of a lending institution, such as a bank. This means that your loan can be funded by common investors or investment groups. Lending Club distinguishes itself from other lenders by allowing co-borrowers or personal loan applications. This can be useful if you believe you may need an additional applicant with better financial circumstances to increase your chances of qualifying. Loans from Lending Club can be used for almost any purpose, including debt consolidation, balance transfers, and major purchases. A Lending Club loan, however, cannot be used for post-secondary education, investments, or the purchase of securities. Now, besides reviewing the top lenders for fair credit, it's important to understand how to make the smartest choice for your needs. What should I look for? Before you do anything else, you will want to compare loans and lenders as much as possible. People with fair and lower credit are also targeted by payday lenders. If they offer loans without a credit check, you will want to steer clear of them. Often these loans come with APRs that go into the triple digits, making them almost impossible to pay back. Here's what you should look for in a personal loan. Interest rate. This is the first thing to do. If you have fair credit, you can expect to receive personal loans that have APRs ranging between 10 and 30%. In most cases, you can expect your APR to be closer to 30 than to 10 due to your credit score. 
However, some lenders may be more willing to negotiate than others. Always talk with lenders about the interest rate before you sign. The difference of a few percentage points can potentially save you a lot of money. Lender Reputation You only want to engage lenders who are reliable. Banks and credit unions should be your first choices, although there are credible online lenders. You will want to check out the Better Business Bureau's online page and search for any lenders you are interested in. That way, you can research the lender and determine if they are a reliable loan source. Keep in mind that not all lenders will make offers to you, since they may see fair credit as a risk. Some will consider lower credit scores, but they are also likely to only offer you high APRs. You will also want to try pre-qualifying with the lenders you are interested in. This is not a hard credit inquiry, so it will not harm your credit score. Loan Term and Repayment Options The loan term is the length of time you will make payments. When it comes down to it, a longer term means lower monthly payments, but also higher interest payments. You should think about how the monthly payments fit into your budget and how much money you have available to spend. The repayment method can also have an impact on the loan term. Signing up for automatic payments with your lender, for example, may entitle you to a lower interest rate or term as a reward. You should inquire with your lender about any benefits they may be able to provide you. Fees Some loans have a slew of fees attached to them. Consider the aforementioned origination fees. They typically account for 1-8% to of your total loan amount, which can be substantial depending on the circumstances. However, while it is uncommon, you should keep an eye out for prepayment fees. These are fees that are levied if you pay off your loan too quickly. If you're not aware of this fee, being charged extra money for doing something good can be a major surprise. How to pick the right loan for your needs You will want an unsecured loan, which means you do not have to offer private property for collateral. These loans are offered by most banks, credit unions, and online lenders. Check credit unions. However, if you have fair credit, credit unions might be the best option for you. These facilities usually offer lower interest rates when compared to banks and online lenders. Even if you have fair credit, they are usually going to make the best offers. They also offer a lot more flexibility than their competitors. Credit unions are also known for being the best place to get small personal loans, which are considered to be $2,500 or less. Most big banks will not offer unsecured loans. That means you will need to offer collateral in order to receive them. Shop around. You will want to study all of your loan options before pre-qualifying with the lender. Doing so will allow you to clearly see the rates and terms of the loans. Research is essential when trying to find the best loan. It lets you know that you are making smart financial decisions. Need a cosigner? If you have fair credit, you may not be able to get a loan without a cosigner. This option will help you qualify for a loan that you likely could not get on your own. However, you will want to be sure that you can back the loan, as it will fall on the cosigner if you do not. Most lenders will offer loans with cosigners, so be sure to think about them if possible. You will want to make sure that the person who signs with you understands the risks before they agree to anything binding. Understand how much you can afford. Most loans will offer a minimum amount. However, you do not want to take out more than you need. If you take out too much, you will be putting yourself into debt for longer than you had to. It is best to go with an amount that covers your expenses, but is not too high for you to manage paying back. Most personal loans tend to fall into a range of $1,000 to $40,000. So, if you need $20,000, you will not want to take out the maximum amount. It would become much harder to pay back. What are the risks of fair credit loans? There are always risks that come with taking out a loan. However, you will want to be aware of all of them before you make any final decisions. Plus, when you have average credit, there are some more risks available. You can't pay the interest. When you have a lower credit score, your interest rates are going to be much higher. If they are too high, you may have more trouble paying them back. Always check out the APR before you sign and shop around. You might be able to find a much better interest rate somewhere else. High fees. Additionally, you are more likely to face higher upfront costs. There are origination fees and possibly prepayment fees. Lenders may also charge you for more before you get the loan, although it may be taken from the loan before you receive it. Overall, you need to be prepared to have to cover a lot of expenses before you receive the loan. Payday loans. Payday loans tend to target people with lower credit scores. 
they are very hard to pay back and essentially require that you put all the money you make towards the loan. They are predatory and should be avoided. The interest rates are purposefully extremely high and the loan will roll over into more terms, making them very hard to get out of. To avoid these loans, always check the triple B and the interest rate on the loan offered before signing up. How big of a loan can I get with a 550 credit score? While you are less likely to receive a large loan, you still might be able to get a small personal one. This type of credit score is considered to be very poor, meaning you will not get a good interest rate. It may be worth trying to improve your credit before applying to anything. When it comes to funds, you should not expect to receive a lot of money. Usually $2,500 or under is all you will be able to get. You may also be able to apply for credit cards, but most lenders will consider your score to be too low. Some online lenders have a lower FICO score requirement, meaning you might get pre-qualified with them. Ask about applications that will not harm your score. If they only offer hard credit checks, it may not be worth it until you raise your credit. With a score of 550 or lower, you may not be able to apply a loan. You might need a cosigner or a collateral in order to take out the loan. However, local credit unions will be your best option. If you have done banking with them in the past, they are more likely to offer you a decent loan amount. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. On our website, you can find side-by-side -side credit card comparisons, extensive reviews, and full guides that can help you maximize your credit card rewards or build credit responsibly. What is your favorite personal loan provider? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them on the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the best financial videos as soon as they go live.